my lovelies how are you doing hope you're staying safe and hope you're staying good okay so the last time i shared a post on my instagram and the, the post was about the cleaning uses of vinegar but then i got a lot of comments like oh and even people sent me dms about oh do a video of it instead of just doing the post about it i didn't know you guys needed that so i decided since you requested i'm gonna give it to you so that sounded funny i'm gonna give it to you since you requested anyway so, so today i'm gonna be sharing the cleaning uses of vinegar in the house please this is a disclaimer there are about hundreds of uses of vinegar in the house but i shared just 10 so i'm just going to be demonstrating those 10 to you and then we'll take it from there if you already have if you already know some cleaning uses of vinegar i mean you can continue using them but you can also add these ones to your list well you can also comment in the comment section below so i will also learn from you i mean this is a learning channel no one has monopoly of knowledge so now that that is settled i'm going to be going into the 10 uses of vinegar that i stated on my post and please get your popcorn now you're not watching netflix get your popcorn let this be your netflix watch what i'm about to say so you know how cleaning solutions are very 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 expensive guys truly i'm not even exaggerating sometimes i go to the supermarket or even the market where things are supposed to be more affordable and i end up spending so much money in, you don't even want to know the amount i spend on cleaning the solutions because i'm a sucker for cleaning dogs just even ensuring that the place is that, that my space is um very tidy at least or when i go inside i don't start having a headache because when i see a place that is untidy i tend to start having a headache and i, I feel overwhelmed like where am i going to start from so what i do here at home is i ensure that wherever needs um clean i try to clean it early also um i also have the help because um i have someone that assists me you know because really i can't do everything on my own but so what i just taught her what I put her through was um, this is how I like my things being done sometimes when she's not sure she lets me know and I say okay so we should do it this way sometimes I also find um, new uses for different things that I used to do before and then I, um, I try to do those new things and then somehow somehow if it, if, it, if it works fine if it doesn't work I just count my losses and then I move on to the next thing but I enjoy learning things um, about how to run the household especially cleaning and all those things storing preserving all those things make me happy it's just something that i enjoy learning about so i'm like okay since i know some of these things why not just come and share some of them with you because i know not everybody has that time you know to just you know so i was like okay let me just share it with you so today um we're going to be talking about the cleaning uses of vinegar in the house okay now so there was someone i asked him one time and said um what do i mean by um, vinegar white vinegar i was like okay white vinegar that what i've seen i've seen white vinegar i've seen clean vinegar and then i've seen malted malt vinegar and i've seen rice vinegar because um, i guess a lot of people don't know that there are different types of vinegar but some do know okay so what i use to clean is either if i don't find sometimes you don't find the cleaning vinegar in the supermarket just um, around where i stay you might be in a different way depending on where you're watching from you might be you might find it easy to see to find the cleaning vinegar as well when i don't get it here i just use white vinegar and i can tell you like white vinegar has lots and lots of benefits and lots and lots of uses around there sometimes if you know if you just can't be bothered to spend that much on household solutions and cleaning solutions please just ensure that you have cleaning vinegar in the house and i tell you there's so many things to be able to do with it that even you'll be like oh my god i don't think i ever need to buy um cleaning solutions again but sometimes i just like to buy cleaning solutions anyway because sometimes i like the smell and i just buy them for different reasons you know and i just always ha have my cleaning solutions stored up in the house so that i never run out of them so number one you can use clean scissors whether it's cleaning scissors or the one you use when you're sewing or any type of scissors at all you if you use soapy water and a soft cloth you realize that your scissors would be getting rusted faster 
So the best thing to use, then you can give it a try and let me know. But just because I've been using it for a while, especially for my kitchen scissors. After every use, I ensure that I dab just a microfiber cloth. That's all you need. A soft cloth if you don't have a microfiber cloth. Dab it in a little bit of vinegar and then wipe it off. And you see that it's going to be shiny, like to, to retain its shine and it wouldn't be getting rusted anytime soon. Do it and then let me know whether it worked for you. So did you know you can use vinegar to deodorize and discale your kitchen, smaller appliances like kitchen kettles? Okay, so you know when you use a kettle for so long, um, when you check inside the kettle, you see that it's beginning to have some whitish um, residue that you may not be able to wash off. Or sometimes it's not whitish, sometimes it's um, brownish depending on the type of water or whatever it is you're using the, the kettle for. So what you can do, you see that when you wash it, when you wash it with soap and then your sponge, it doesn't go off. So what you can do is to put in little vinegar, mix the water, bring it to the boil and then wipe it off or you wash it again and then you see that those things will go. So from the two points that I've shared so far, I'm sure we all agree that vinegar breaks down residues. The good thing about buying things in fancy jars is that you can reuse those jars. I mean, you don't necessarily need to buy jars to store every time. Once you have fa fancy jars, you can reuse them and repurpose them for other uses. But the thing is, I know that most of us don't like seeing the stickers still on them. You don't want to put maybe say seasoning cubes in something that says peanut butter. So what you can do is to take a microfiber cloth where the sticker is on whatever part or whatever jar or whatever item it is you're you want to remove the sticker off of off of sorry about that you just spray just a little vinegar or you dampen the microfiber cloth in vinegar and then just give it a little rub just a gentle rub is all you need and for you know what that means it's going to get off there are also other ways to do this but you can give the vinegar one a try so that's another tip for you to propose your jars. Thank you later. So there's no need for you to keep going at it with your fingernail and then eventually break a nail, a fingernail. You know how when you're already appreciating how your nails have grown so far and then you just get one that looks shorter than the others. Sometimes it's embarrassing, I know, for us. So I've given you a tip. Try and use that one instead of trying to peel it off with your, your nails, you know. Just use the vinegar option and you'll be glad that you tried it. Da -da 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 drum roll so remember that i did a, a post last week about steam cleaning your microwave okay so i'm just going to talk about it here it's also one of the reasons one of the ways you can use vinegar so just put in equal parts of water and equal parts of vinegar in a little cup or a mug whichever one suits your boat whichever one rolls your boat put it in your microwave and then heat it up for like say five minutes when you bring it out, just use a microfiber cloth and then clean it at the inside, um, the top, the plate. And please don't forget the base plate, please. That's very important. Don't forget the base plate. And then you can also use that same water solution for the outer door of your microwave. Please, when cleaning your microwave, also ensure that you clean the outer door. I mean, you want it to be sparkling and be shining like it's a mirror. You know, you can also use your microwave door as a mirror just kidding but it's so clear when you clean it and you don't see any fingerprints and everything on it so you can use that same water solution with vinegar and use to clean it instead of just spraying vinegar or any other cleaning solution on it another tip so you know sometimes you open your refrigerator and then all you're perceiving is different types of food odor because you've kept different types of meals in your refrigerator so so you're having a clash of smells right a clash of odors what you can do is to just put in a little vinegar you might say half a cup and put in a cup and then put and just place it gently in a strategic place in your refrigerator so be it onion smell or whatever smell it is whatever odor is coming out from the refrigerator by the time you come back there it's going to 
ensure that that thing doesn't smell it's going to deodorize and like you're not going to perceive anything again try it and then you guys let me know because this one is something i do every time you can also combine it with um baking soda like not mixing it together but you can also place mix them um, baking soda there that's another tip but even though it's not related to vinegar so if you're not using baking soda you can use vinegar in its place you know if you do a whole lot of cooking and baking that you don't want to waste your baking soda that's another thing to use so i just finished making a delicacy for my family right and in that delicacy i ensured that i chopped garlic onions and the likes so i don't want to go and meet them after serving their food and dishing their food i don't want to go and meet them and torment them with the smell of garlic and onions because not everybody likes that so what I'm just going to do is after washing my hands with soap and water I'm just going to put like a cup or two cups of vinegar on my hands and I'm going to rub it together as if I'm rub rubbing sanitizer please don't forget to stay safe during this period and use your sanitizer as one of the things that you're supposed to use I forgot to mention that so I'm just going to use the vinegar on my hands and rub it around my hands like um, I'm rubbing uh, say a body cream or hand cream and before you know what's happening when you perceive your hands you're not going to perceive that onion and garlic smell then another thing you can use it for lest I forget it so you know you're chopping boards sometimes you've after chopping and making a particular dish you want to make another dish and it has the smell of the odor of the previous thing you chopped on it will transfer onto whatever it is you're doing. So another way to get back, uh, get rid of that is after washing the, after cleaning and washing the um, cut, chopping board, what you can do, or uh, the chopping cutting board as some people call it, what you can do is to just rub it with vinegar so that the next thing you're doing, like say, imagine that I've done garlic and onions for a delicacy or for a meal that I've done and then I need to make pastry i wouldn't want garlic and onion odor or smell on my pastry so what i'm going to do after washing after using the garlic and the onion is i'm going to disinfect it with um, and deodorize it with vinegar so by the time i'm making my pastry i'm not going to have the smell of the garlic transfer onto my pastry so that's one good tip that i've been using for a while and i'm so happy that i came across that tip you guys should also try it so you know your tarnished cutlery did you know you can revive that with vinegar i'm sure you guys will say it's everything that we're using vinegar to do anyway um so if you're not satisfied with the way your cutlery looks maybe if you feel like it's beginning to look tarnished or it's beginning to look dull all you need to do is to mix one part of vinegar into eight parts of boiling hot water and put in the washing bowl and soak it for like say 10 minutes 10 minutes max or 15 minutes if you're okay with that then bring it out rinse it and then wipe it dry and you see that it will be shining the shine would have returned so you can also try this what I always do also is sometimes when I'm expecting guests and I bring out the cutlery that I'm supposed to put lay on the table, I do this to revive the cutlery, not because the cutlery have uh, issues or but because I just want it to shine. I just want it to have that shine, so you can try that as well. And you know I'm not going to leave you without telling you to use vinegar in your um, washing machine, so most of us from what i have realized don't even know how to clean our washing machine we don't even know that it's supposed to be cleaned so when you check your washing machine there's a place just down at the base of the washing machine that has an opening you're supposed to open that place and then empty all the piled up water that is there and by the time you perceive that water you see that that water smells like please guys leave if there's anything you're going to do out of this just try and do that one at least say once a month or once every two weeks if you have the time so what you can do is to deodorize your washing machine now what are you going to use to deodorize your washing machine if not vinegar but there's an added there's another ingredient that you're going to use there's another thing you're going to add to it which is baking soda what you're just going to do i don't know if you guys have ever noticed that sometimes you open your washing machine and then it has that damp smell first 
the first tip that I'm going to give for this is when you finished washing after every wash cycle just ensure that you leave the door open a bit don't close it fully it's even advised if you read the manual it's advised that you don't do that so just leave it to get dry and then you can close it later if you're not comfortable with the traffic in that area if you feel like kids are there or you know for whatever reason you just don't want to leave it open but please just remember that immediately every after every wash cycle you leave it open for a short while that's just one tip by the way then secondly to deodorize your washing machine what you're going to do is you're going to um, put um, say half a cup of vinegar and you're gonna mix it with baking soda and just put and then run a cycle you can run the shortest cycle for you to just deodorize it and wash it and break up all the residue that is hiding in the washing machine you guys try this is really really helps it's something that I do often like after every wash I don't do it but at least like two two times a month I even enjoy doing it so that's it so that's it for now guys I'm glad I was able to share all these tips with you guys please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to our family but I want to ask a question and I'd like you to leave a comment in the comment section what you use vinegar for i mean in your house in and around your house i'd like to know thank you guys i hope to be consistent with this video publishing and whatever you think it is you think we should do that you'd like to know about you can also leave your suggestions or opinions whatever it is i'm always willing to learn so bye family see you in the next video Till then, take care of yourself and stay safe, peace, bye.